So if you are new to this series and you're wondering why your shots are not hitting or why everything is hitting you, this video will hopefully explain why and how you can fix all of those problems. Now I'm just an old school raven, I've been playing the game religiously since 2000, and I'm also a game developer that has spent a significant portion of their life reverse engineering most of the mechanics found in Armored Core's combat system. And I basically use Armored Core's targeting system in just about every game I've ever made. So before I explain how it works, you have to understand how targeting in Armored Core core generally works, and how it's different from most other mech games, and particularly compared to Gundam games, which is where we have a lot of new AC players coming from. Now, most games operate on what you can call a on-target system, which is where weapons aim directly on the target. To help demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my old game projects, and we're just going to set aiming type to on-target. Okay, so this is how it is in most Gundam games. When you're fighting an on-target system, the best way to dodge is literally move anywhere. Strafe, walk, run, jump, whatever. As long as you are moving, the bullets are never going to hit you because by the time the bullets travel to their target, you are no longer there. Now, Armored Core, since the beginning though, instead operates on Intercept. And if we go back to my demo project and we switch aim to Intercept, now you can see what this means. On Target System, on Intercept. Your Armored Core will always aim where the enemy is going. So if you are trying to dodge stuff the same way you do in Gundam, you are going to get hit with everything because you're walking straight into the intercept and the armored core system is always one step ahead, aiming where you wanna go, not where you are. So the question then becomes, okay, how do you defeat a system that is mathematically perfectly calculated to intercept you? And the answer is, you have to fake your velocity. Change direction as often as possible. One of the biggest mistakes I see new players in Armored Core 6 make is when they're out of energy, they kind of just hover towards their enemy until it recharges. And that's a great way to get you killed immediately. Don't just hover in a straight line. Shift your momentum. Switch it up between left and right. Throw in a jump if you have to. The more you shift your momentum in different directions, the more you will dodge enemy fire. Now, if you're an old school AC vet, then you probably know this, but if you're new to the game, then you should know that there are actually some optimal evasive maneuver patterns that will basically always dodge everything. Take a guess as to what sort of evasive pattern is the intercept system's worst nightmare. Well, it's actually a circle. When you move in a circle, the intercept system doesn't know what to do because your velocity is constantly changing. You're never really going in a straight line, so by the time it calculates the intercept point, you've already changed your velocity and the shot is going to miss. Another popular evasive pattern is the figure eight or the infinity sign, which is basically just two circles stacked on top of each other. But simply put, the more circular your movement, the less fire you're gonna take from the intercept system. This is why the most advanced players in Armored Core traditionally Traditionally, have always had a very aerial oriented style of combat because when you're on the ground you can only change your velocity in four directions forward backwards left and right but when you're in the air you can change your velocity in six directions forward back left right up and down and the more options you have to shift your velocity the less likely you're gonna get hit now armored core 6 is a very ground oriented game so you might be thinking well quick boosting doesn't really allow you to make a circle anymore the best we can do is kind of like a square and you're kind of right but you can actually still make a square work if you just make one small adjustment anytime you're playing and you absolutely need to dodge everything immediately and you don't care about hitting the target anymore you just want to survive what you want to do is strafe left or right and quick boost diagonally back because what this does is stack your left and right velocity on top of your forward and back velocity, which doubles your chances of throwing off the intercept. If you have a lot of energy to spare, what you should do is throw in some jumps on top of that and try and travel in a backward zigzag. 
If you do this, you should be able to dodge virtually every projectile in the entire game. But there is one aspect where the traditional circular dodge still applies in Armored Core 6, and it's most easiest done with quads in the air while hovering. Remember when I said the best way to dodge is a circle? Well, watch what happens from the enemy's perspective when I position myself up here. You see that? Now we have the circle, and from this position, as long as I'm traveling in a circular pattern, if my enemy is on the ground shooting, nothing is really gonna hit me here. And from this position, you should never travel in a straight line. If you want to run or chase someone, do it in a zigzag. If you want to stay in place and avoid, do it in a circle. And if you're on the ground and you need to get out, diagonal back left right and jump. So that is how a raven dodges a perfect system. I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.